I was crushing a man the other day when I found this in his pocket. He called it a cop cake. Only a puny would put a cake in a tiny cup. I prefer... Pancake. Topped with meat. Mmm. With meat on top. Mmm. Three dot. Do you like meat pancake with meat on top? Hmm? Hmm? Oh. 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 Meat pancake. Thank you very much, Bryant M., for today's ginormous sponsorship. If you guys want to sponsor an episode, link in the description down below. You can get something like... <laughs> She's licking the drool off her lips. Uh, anyway, Battle Brothers episode. Go! Hey, everyone, and welcome to the first noble quest to murder... 35 mans and do a little loopy doopy on uh, places we wanted to go to anyway. So my thinking was this. We need to kill 35 guys. I got everything queued up to repair here. I did think about Mark and I think I can actually get away without giving him Colossus. Uh, maybe at least for a little while. I want to see what happens when we get nimble and how the rest of the squad shapes up. So for now, we're just going to sit him out. Everyone's not looking so fantastic, but rather than camp here in the town, I want to come over to the mountains and maybe camp up over there. And see if we can find those barbarians that we had seen before in this area. Okay. Well, we don't see the barbarians, but clearly they were here not too long ago. Maybe they were killed by a company. We do, however, see what looks to be Zambi out in the field someplace. Uh, looking at our repairs, we've got 20 hours and 34 tools. I think we're going to have to actually camp here for a little bit. Puriel no longer has an injured shoulder. Well, what do you know? Good job, Puriel. I'm pretty sure this is going to be barbarians, too. Um, and if that's the case, I kind of want to go take a look. Now, there's a small chance they'll have water dogs preventing our retreat. But I don't think it's going to be necessarily too bad, to be honest. This is one of the first camps we've ever seen. It's in the middle of a bunch of places, so it can't be high-level high level enemies. Uh, looking at wounds, everyone's basically completely healed, completely repaired. We've never been better to go, except, of course, for Mark, who's got, like, all kinds of injuries here and not healed. So we'll leave him out, and let's go charge into the camp and see what we see. There's a small chance it's barbarians with hounds, but if so, I think we can take them, and it won't be that bad of a deal. And it's also in the forest, too. Oh, it's zombie. Well, I guess that makes sense. There's 20 of them. Maybe some geists. We have banner now. We have rally. We have everything we need. I, and we have a nice little choke point. So... Alright, prepare yourself, friends, for an easy, boring game. I'll just have everyone run back. I'll take the, the line right here. They'll all come to me, and it'll just be like chop, 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 chop. Oh, hold the phone. A fallen hero with a cleaver and some armor. No helmet, though, which is unfortunate. Okay. Farming that armor is a higher priority for me than most other things. I think there might be three guys here as well, but I'm not sure. That or potentially three monkeys. One, two, three. You know what? We just actually broke our lone wolf. Okay, if we want to farm this guy, we're going to have to charge up. Forget the lone wolf. Forget everything else. And I do want to farm that guy. Now, because it's uh, forest, the zombies can't move up and attack, which is great for us. That's Nexeris. I heard the, the snort. So I think there's three Nexeris here. Easy. Easy, easy. If these guys want to move down here, we could have Gung Hobo put up a spear wall. I doubt they'll really be able to, but... I'm just going to talk through the part where we farm, and then the rest of it will probably just skip. Assuming I can farm them. If there's... I don't think there's a um, necromancer. We would have seen them already. Yes. Puriel has all the weapons. Oh, our armor. It's already down to like 20% as it was. All right, friends. Careful. 
Yep, there's the Naxxeris. Four of them. One thing we really need to do is allow the Fallen Hero to move up here. And we do that by opening a spot. Bloody hell, did we just missed a 95 on a 99 again. That would have been a... Maybe it would have been a kill. All right. He's probably going to charge. Yep. And we hit him in the head. Beautiful. So we didn't ruin his armor. Again, we missed that guy with a 95. One in 400% chance that zombie would survive. There it is. Oh, he can move up an attack. Huh. I swore that he wouldn't be able to. Well, now we can have Periel nug him, bunk him, or uh, just straight dagger him. Nice. Hobo hit the head again. Let's hold the wall for his last time. Uh, I need to kill this next Zebra before he grows, so... A pray for luck. Yes. Not bad. This Noxera, however, is going to grow. This is a complicated battle, actually, because I need the Noxeras not to eat a million zombies. And I also want to farm this thing. And, I, and I'm being attacked from three different sides, and we're also in the storm. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. We'll wait for Pyrrhil for this man to move in. Take a slicey. Okay. And Hobon now basically just has to recover. And now I don't want to destroy his armor. It's really important to me. <sighs> I don't know if I should do a switch here and try to stabby. Well, we still can from Elevation, probably. I can take a couple of hits. So 83. Beautiful. Here we'll have to do the exact same thing. And these guys will be able to move up next turn, but not this turn. So I'm not too concerned about it. We're on a time crunch to farm this guy before we get encapsulated by everyone else. I th can Fallen Heroes be stunned? I know Zambies. God, I can never remember. Someone was telling me on stream the other day. Okay, we missed the 55. We're just going to go for the straight kill. Okay, Imperial. It's now or never, please. 55. 55. Oh. Now, unfortunately, Naxxedra is going to eat. He's going to eat a lot, and I'm going to need to recover so I can double stab next turn. I want this gear so badly. I'm getting myself in trouble, aren't I? I feel like it's worth it. Gene can be probably assailed next turn, but he'll be all right. Don't need to worry about it too much. Okay, that's getting a little e iffy. A little bit iffy. Off with his head! Nice work, Gage. Do it again, friend, right up there. Now, Gene has to hold the line here against the Naxeris. 75. Beautiful. This is an interesting battle. Probably the most interesting zombie battle I think I've ever played. Can we farm the man, is the question. Hobo? Nine no! Hobo, 95! Okay, here we go. We got this, friends. 91? 91? Okay. He gets one attack. Imperial, you're up. Ooh. That's decayed, like, scale armor and, like, a ridiculous plate helm bag head and a fighting axe. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, Imperial's going to have to recover. This is some crazy loot. I think, I mean, we're going to be fine. I don't know if Gene can really risk sitting here with the banner anymore, even though it is providing us with a bit of deep. Well, he can get hit once. He doesn't have nimble, though, and the axe will chew through a lot of armor, so we can't switch now anyway. But next turn, I might. Uh-oh, now we got a level three bacon. That won't be a problem if we can get rid of this guy, like, right now. Gene, stabby. Stabby. 75 miss. Not good. Gage off of his head! Again! Beautiful. Nice. Gino has a 27% chance to get hit by Zambi. Piero's got a 17. Come on, Piero. 55. 
55! <sighs> okay, that's unfortunate. But we'll be all right. And... Woo! That is exciting news, friends. Exciting news. We still have to do it again. I took the sword out because we need to chop through these mans now. It's very important. Let's start on the big end. That one's already fleeing. 69. Okay, he's going to be fine. I can let the zombies move. But or not. Let's come back down here. Hobo can handle that by himself. Whereas I don't necessarily think Gene's going to be able to do anything with the stabby over here. Interesting battle. Beautiful. Hobo can spear the wall now to hold the rest of the boys at bay. Imperial, it's probably time. Yeah, I think it's time. We got a big in here. Let's go stab it. 91. My turn, friends! Sup! I can only do a regular strike, obviously, on this one. Woo! Please don't eat me, though. Even if he did, it'd probably be okay. Gene, 78. Yes! Woo! This is fun times. Oh, but holding the north. Beautiful gauge. Double 95s. Rip the armor off. This guy comes back up. I'm going to have to uh, quick, not quick hands, but swap, stab again a couple of times. Whew. That's our last spear wall, by the way. Should Puriel help me farm this guy for the 14th time? Or should we try to finish the... No, we came here to farm. We're going to farm. So back we go. Stabby stab. 55. If I kill this guy, I get my action points back. I can swap, but not stab. Uh, if I swap, I can't attack him anyway, because I won't have the fatigue. So, the plan is we just recover. What to do over here? Axe in three turns. I don't want him to hit us. 85. Who cares? Good work, Hobo. Holding the north. Gage. A little bit of the old 95. Followed by a little bit of the old off with his head. Oh, never mind. We actually hit the head. Decapitate doesn't always hit the head, by the way. I found out. It's just like a normal thing. A normal attack. We just happened to hit the head that time. I'm going to go to the Kniff here for what I was talking about before, to 91. Okay. And now Hobo has to recover. Whew, <laughs> this battle. This is a pretty fancy battle. Piero's got one, 155, or we could recover for 255's next turn. Let's do that. As far as the kills go, we'll help Hobo out. Okay, this one here. Easiest to kill. They finally hit me, Puriel! 55! 55! Farming gear like we just don't care. Woo! Doot, doot, doot. Dude. Oh, I thought the guy was going to go around. That's why I wouldn't have switched if I had known. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Oh, but we have no problem up there. This guy's surrounded. I am really excited to see the loot here. Gage. Little tired. I'm going to wait for this guy to come over. Beardle can wait as well. 
There we goes. I'm no longer confident, interestingly enough. I've had it, I've had it, friends. Too many fallen heroes. 78. 78. We're getting there, Imperial. 50. And he's tired. Now I'm confident. Come on, Gage. Imperial, 50. Nice work. Me, 86. 86, whew. That guy's got some hit points. We should have Gage go deal with that, Zambi. Hobo locks this down, and it looks like easy game. Whew. All right. I don't know how much that's going to edit down to, but that's a pretty important battle because we just farmed two fallen heroes and it was a pretty interesting battle. It's also really slow and kind of boring. I've been playing for 17 minutes, so I'll see what I can do, but whoo! 136 armor at 12 fatigue. That is a beautiful, nimble item right there. Baltasar's the Toothless skin. Amazing. So not only did we farm this, we also picked up Decayed Coat of Scales, 240 armor with 36 negative fatigue. That's okay. It's heavy, but it's great. Additionally, Decayed Coat of Scales, we've got two of them, actually. We did get the Fighting Axe, the Tier 3 Axe. We got double hatchets. We also got the Cleaver. We got four Scrivus Axes. We even picked up a double mail patch out of nowhere for no reason. We also got a thousand golden chalice and a six hundred ornate tome, as well as hundred sixty-six gold. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. My golly gee willikers, friends! And we just probably finished our mission. Uh, well, not really. I mean, we killed twenty guys. It's not really finishing the mission. What a result that was! Absolutely insane. All right, Gage. Since you're kind of on the front line, you have hundred and five here. Let's upgrade to this 136 now, uh, which will bring you from 40 to 42, but you sure will look pretty snazzy, like a little death dealer. Fantastic. This nimble suit we can now give to Gene the machine. Beautiful. Decayed coat of scales. Um, it's really heavy, so we don't necessarily want to use it too much. 230. It's 10 extra armor at the expense of six additional fatigue. Hobo can wear it though. That's a nice big upgrade for him. Now we've got another one for the future when we get another tank, which is high on my priority list, of course. We just haven't found any in a while. We also got the Decayed Heater Shield and the Worn Kite Shield. Not that I care about either of those things. Cool thing about this axe, though, is I can give it to someone like Puriel or Hobo and they can actually break uh, items here and there. The Cleaver will probably end up just selling because I'm not going to need a second one. And I'm not sure what to do with the double mail just yet. Uh, I could, I could give it to someone like Gage to go to 150, but then our nimble's gonna go down to 44. Eh, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that, to be honest. Or I could double down over here on hobos, but these things we're gonna upgrade eventually. We'll sell them, so I'll probably just hold on to it for now. Uh, the axe, however, Pirtle can probably use it more than the pick, because it also does decent damage, uh, against armor. In fact, we can take a look at it this way, right? Like, we could destroy armor as 60 to 110 armor. Whereas this is going to do 45 to 71 to armor. Eh. It's it's not too big of a difference. Plus, that's 25 fatigue, whereas this is going to be a regular 13. So, we'll probably drop this off then. Stick with the spear. And now Piero's got every weapon in the, the bag, friends. Every single weapon. Incredible. All right. Well, we're at 89 or 88 out of 90 inventory, so let's go sell up. Oh, what's this now? I see footsteps. How's our health doing? We're just about perfect. Let's go track down whatever. It's got to be brigands, right? Oh, brigand hunters. Yeah, get a boss. We won't have, they don't have any good loot anyway, but this will, ooh, and end more zombie. Boy, we're going to finish this mission in record time. Oh. 
All right, well, I just took a little bit of time, but nothing really, nothing really fancy to report it on that one. Boy, we got a lot of stuff. I really need to go sell some of this stuff, honestly. I suppose that's good enough. All right, so we're down to 28 out of 35 already. We haven't even gone to objective number one. Should I just go there and finish the quest? Yeah, I should, rather than coming all the way back here. Although we do have the zombie to worry about. Looks like it's not going to be an issue. We'll get here. Oh, oh, two hexen. That means a hexen and unhold. Interesting. We move on, friends, but not before we please pray to RNG for hunters. Nope. Only hunting cabin there is. Well, technically they have disappearing villagers. So we really want to clear that quest off. Uh, we'll buy a little bit of food, because why not? And then I just need to sell, like, just whatever. They're not going to pay very much, but it's more than nothing. So we can just clear out some of this, like, tier one inventory stuff that's worth basically nothing. Yeah. Good enough. Okay, I need to be a little bit careful. Ooh. Okay, there is there's just a lot of stuff going on here. This is crazy. What do we actually have in Hog? No hunters. No ooh, really cheap cloth. I'll take it. Sure. Not really cheap tools, but we'll buy them regardless. Cheap bread? Do we really need it? No, we don't need it at all. So nothing. I'm thinking those zombies are probably the easiest. Ooh. I suppose we just spend our money to get more inventory space. It's 5,000 gold for a little bit more. Oh, the dead men. Some mercenaries and the hound. They had the hound, guys. God, I wish I knew what to fight and where exactly. Okay, how much inventory space do we go up to now? 117. Let's go look for the zombies. They're going to be the easiest thing. There we go. Actually, it looks like they just... Oh! No way! Something killed them? Okay. Let's go look for some raiders. There's got to be something over here. This place has been hopping for a very long time now. I'm sure up here on this road. They also said there was a camp to the east in the Albstadt Tavern, so we can check that as well. Ah, there it is. A Necromancer, easy, easy. That'll finish our quest in like literally one or two days. And it looks like we might even be fighting him in the swamp too. Like how he's punching me. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna get you! <laughs> punching like a hedge knight in the face. Oh, uh, what a way to die. All right, well, we picked up a little bit more looties. Wonderful. Not that it makes any difference whatsoever. And now our quest is done. All 35 things that are killed. Uh, and we got fantastic loot. We did spend quite a bit on our inventory space, but now our inventory space is huge. Uh, what I really want to do is come over here to Wild Bro Fest and see if we can find some wild bros. But it might make more sense to go to Groon Forest first and clear off the, the, the beasts or whatever. Nice. Safe roads, 2,100 crowns. Beautiful. Ooh, another noble quest. That was fast. I wonder if anything changed over here. 
Nah, nothing in terms of man's, at least. Super expensive, all kinds of stuff. So these things here are, yeah, we can sell this for $12.91 and it's worth $9.80. We may as well clear out our inventory space here. Everything except for cloth. Boom, we're right back to 10000 Like we never even left. I don't want this winged mace. So we'll sell it off here for four thirty-seven. I think ambush trade routes would be better, but we really need the inventory. Well, I did just get an extra inventory space, but I really just want to not have to be messing with it. I've messed with it too much, I feel, today. Um, do I want the, the cleaver? Maybe not. I think we're good on most of the daggers. I don't feel like I need the arming swords anymore. They're just for sales. These hats are all pretty lame. We have so many. I really don't need that many. I think it's actually worth repairing these helms now, in, in a place like this anyway. If we're not in a place like this, it's probably not worth repairing them, I don't think. But yeah, we'll keep... We'll keep a couple of extra ones on hands. Get rid of the leprechaun, we'll keep blue. This one, extra kite shields, extra daggers, extra kniffs for shrats. I think I will keep the cleaver, just in case. Extra boar spears, the long sword. Oof, we're up to 13,000 and we got a ton more loot. In a credible, friends. Incredible. I may even buy up more meds. You can carry a hundred. Nope, never mind. Because we'll go, we'll overstock it. Let's check this quest here. My scouts to the northwest started disappearing a while ago. That's probably barbarian. <gasps> the survivors trickled in, and with them, tales of a barbarian proclaiming himself king of Holmbum. Hmm. A man such as yourself, Sellsword, to get out there and smack around this barbarian. That's insane! It's only two skulls, though. Can I actually do this quest? Boy, do I ever want to. But I really do feel like getting more mans is a smart thing. As much as it'd be great to kill this barbarian king. We need a whip, if nothing else. So, um... I'm gonna accept it for now and say I need more time. Let's check the other quests. Cargo that has to go to a Kalen Groove. I don't remember where Carlin Groove is. Two days to the southeast. Oh, I know where Carlin Groove is. It's um way down in the plains where we're not going right now. Let me just check for Fletcher items. We see nothing. Okay. We're really low on tools. Here's my thinking. If we go to Grunforst, maybe we can clear off the things and get more uh guys when the dis the whatever the nightmare is. The terrifying villagers thing gets ripped away. Maybe also there'll be more lumber for sale here. I really want hunters, and this is the best, the only place, actually, to get hunters. Actually, there's a couple more places. One up here. No, that's a trapper. There's one over here. We have a hunter. So we want, we want to go over there. This episode, if possible. And that's actually the only other place besides Gruen Forest. Okay, the quest is still here. No additional hunters. Should be really easy. Missing folks, yep. Name a sergeant, finally. Twelve spiders, okay. I'll be happy to fight them right out in the open here. How are we doing, by the way, on promotions? Gage is level 10, beautiful. I think I'm going to give him one more thing on Resolve. I'm going to do the one more Resolve this one time around. We still don't have pole arms. We still don't have any hunters to throw javelins, so Executioner is not going to be as useful. I think I'm actually going to go Bags and Belts then with Gage. It's, um, it's one of the things we're going to get eventually on him. And this will allow us to give him a couple extra things just for more utility. By the way, I don't have the tools to set these things to repair. The utility I'll give him is an axe. And that's actually all the utility we can give him. Maybe we can give him the bandage that I've been carrying around. Makes a little bit more sense there. Looking good. Uh, now, we had another promotion on Imperial. Boom, 22. Ah, oh, mineral, mineral. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. So at this point, I'm actually going to get quick hands on Imperial. The frontline tank. 
And how are we doing on Mark? Is it safe to bring him back in? Some of his injuries, yeah, but this one, this one is negative 40% initiative on top of this one. Plus two additional action points per move. Let's keep him out until that heals. And crash his spider. Gonna make a daring play, friends. Ah, the daring play. <laughs> it has paid off. Easily peasily. Ooh, I got another level. Bunch of gossamer, other random stuff we don't care about. Let's please, please hope that they'll have hunters soon. Back to Grunforce, beautiful. Uh, I could come down here and grab some salt, but I'm thinking there's nothing else I really want down there at all. So I'm, I'm more concerned to go over here to the right, get the mans, and then check to the north. Whoops, why are we going to Grunforce? That's weird. Really hoping to buy at least one man today, or at least see some mans that would be worth buying. Stock back up on tools. Ah, they have a wild man. Reinhardt. He doesn't look very wild to me. He could be an acceptable potential man. I think he's worth 1150. Uh, do I want to try him out though? Usually I don't waste the money. I feel like, you know, we've got enough money that we can probably just give a guy a go and see what happens. These guys could be as good as hedge knights sometimes for tanking. He is... Uh, not fantastic. His melee skill is really low. His fatigue is like 115 with one skill in it. It'll be like 150. His melee defense is negative, but it's kind of equals out. He'll, he'd be like, okay, but honestly, I don't feel like he's really worth it. Uh, and having him in the party may actually make things a little bit more difficult for us. Wow, Gene Max rolled melee skill again. Absolutely fantastic. We'll just keep going initiative because he just never seems to be able to get some fatigue. I think it's time to finally give him the polearm mastery so we can um, move twice in Stabby. That'll be pretty helpful for him. Meanwhile, on me, we'll do the same thing we always do. More aim, more defense, more fatigue. Never enough aim, friends. Never enough. And honestly, for Reinhardt here, he's not... It would take a while to get him someplace. I'm not sure if I want to keep him around and even pay him, to be honest. I want nothing but good men. The game will be harder if we keep extra mans around that aren't good. And his negative defense, low melee skill, yeah, his fatigue's okay, but honestly, it's not good enough. I'll just get rid of him now. We gave it a whirl. We tried to find a hunter. They don't have any hunters. What are you going to do, right? We'll buy their wood. Meat's always worth it in a town like this. Uh, we're so low on tools, I'll actually spend 300 on it, and off we go. So we'll hit up Olbstadt for a second on our way to Wild Bro Fest, and hopefully find some Wild Bros. Mmm, here's our Sash. Fantastic. Gene the Machine, yoink! 106. Beautiful. I took a quick quest here in Olbstadt to find ruins, which I assume are going to be here. Yep, there they are. Not a big surprise. I figured it would take all of two seconds. Ruins of Stormwatch Keep. I bet that's probably like barbarians or something. All right, and now to Wild Bro Fest. Do not pass go. We'll check out Litter's World as well. Our reputation with House Berengar is a little higher than neutral, so maybe slightly better prices. Okay, and it's dawn. Pray all ye friends for some epic boys in the town. Ooh. Okay, everyone calm down, calm down. Everyone calm, calm ya hussies. Woo, there's my great sword man, Arnie the Hound. 
7,000 gold. A great sword costs five. He comes with a bassinet with mail, which is something I would buy for 2,000 anyway. The great sword and the bassinet would cost me more money than Arnie would cost by himself. And, and oh boy, super excited. We had another hedge knight over here, Elevator the Lone Wolf. Not a big deal. He's not what we're looking for. There's another one. Eberhard the Slayer. Uh-oh. He's 51 gold a day. 7, 8, 9, 10. He costs 3,000 more, but he comes with three levels. And what is this? It's like full plate without padding or something. Let me go see if I can look in the inventory. Let's also check. Do they have an armorsmith here? Weaponsmith? Please have a whip. Please have a whip. Please have a whip. Please have a whip. No whip. Yeah, 5,000 gold for the greatsword, though, is what we're basically saving. That's going to be... Oh, boy, is this going to be an upgrade for us. Holy mother of heavens, friends. So this is the helmet he has. Oh, never mind. It's a closed flat top with mail. It's only 170. That's not that good. For some reason, I've just never come across, like, any of these. Never really used them before. Uh, nothing else really. They do have a salad helmet if I wanted the ultimate nimble experience for 1855. What was flat top helmet is what Eberhard has over here. So that's not useful for us. The bassinet's better. So the obvious better purchase here is Arnie. All right, Arnie the Hound, for the love of God, be the best man that you can be. Boom. Come on, guys. Is everyone excited? Is everyone excited? Pray for love. Okay, calm down, the husses, all husses, calm, please. So what do we got here? Aside from the obvious awesomes, the bassinet with mail is 210, the shirt 115, whatever, the great sword, just a casual yoink. Thanks, Artie. Okay, now, let's check out his stats and look at the hedge knights. So 62 to 73 hit points. He's got 63. So he kind of almost min-rolled, but he's got skill in it. Fatigue on a Hedge Knight is 105 to 110. So he min-rolled that, but he's got skill in it, so it's basically the same as max rolling. Okay, I got excited because I saw the star there. Basically, it's the same as max rolling. Still not bad. His melee skill is 58 to 67. He, like, dead center mid-rolled it, maybe slightly on the high end, but double skill in it. This is going to mean he's going to end up with 93 aim. His range doesn't matter. His melee defense is a six. Uh, melee defense on the, that's a min roll. Max roll would have been a 10. Range defense, zero to five, he got a two. Initiative doesn't really matter, although he almost max rolled that as well. His resolve is like a 39 to a 44. He almost max rolled that as well. Okay, so this is a very strong man. He's a good candidate for another two-hander if we want to build one. I don't want to build one right now though. Uh, he could probably wear this super awesome coat. He can probably wear the bassinet with mail, just like the one that I have. Where the heck did it go? Here it is. Um, I'm thinking for now, until he gets a few levels here, we give him a bit of the old boar spear. Ooh. Ooh. I already know who this is going to be. The real question is, he's not like the super best tank in the world. I'm going to forgo the one melee defense in favor of the max roll resolve because he only has a 43. Obviously the fatigue here. The real question is with a 93 aim, I think I've got to make him the, the, the second two-hander. And as a result of this, the next name on the list is Ozark. O-Z-A-R-K. Ozark the Based. Woo -hoo -hoo. Thank you extremely much. Uh, what is it? It's Bryant. Thank you very much, Bryant, for the literally highest sponsorship of the entire series. This is the best character of the entire series as well. Let us pray he doesn't get double stabbed to death in the very freaking first battle we go into. Uh, wow, anyway, thank you very, very, very much, though, Bryant. Here's a, here's a student. Let's keep him in the back. <laughs> he looks so weird back there with this. Woo! I'm excited. Nice! And Mark Arge ready to come back out, get back into the front line, A line. You know what? We may actually... 
I think now that we're finally level 10 with our tanks, we can probably put our tanks in the front line, guys. I think we can. Honestly, I, th I think it's it's probably permissible for us to put our tanks in the front line now. Uh, Mark R, however, does not have Nimble. He'll hang out in the back behind some mans. Uh, and we'll probably have a formation similar to this. So double spears on the right. We'll keep him over there. Cool. Double spear, double spear. Uh, we'll protect the people who are supposed to have Nimble but don't have it yet in the middle. Oh, what a crazy episode. Unbelievable. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We still have 5,000 gold, too, which is crazy. And we and we got the great sword, which is fantastic. Eberhard is just too much money for levels and nothing but. So let's think this through for a minute here. We're going to buy basically all the tools. Uh, we can have 125, so that is six packages. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need a little bit more food. We have eight days now. Actually, we don't really need any food at all, but I could buy goat cheese. It's a little expensive, but then we don't have to worry about food for kind of a while. Just buy one of them. They do have a bill hook, and we don't have one ourselves, but quite frankly, I'm not really seeing the need to buy one, to be honest. We'll get one eventually from the loots. Uh, as far as the items we can sell here, eh, we could probably get a better price somewhere else for a lot of these things. I really want to go look for a hunter, but I feel like I think the episode's near an end here. Let's go to Lighter's World and see what's up. I'll go very slowly because I think there's some goings-ons down here. Okay, nothing went on. In Lighter's World, we see nothing of import. Marketplace has some cheap roots and berries. Not that we care. We could buy a bird. Which would actually be a little a little helpful for us, to be honest. It might not be a bad investment. Ooh! Northern Hounds? Has this been here the whole game and I forgot about it? Howler, Ritter, and Finch? Yoink, yoink, yoink! Welcome, boys! I've had a good time with little bone fur over here, though. Uh, let's dole these mans out. Ozark, how about you have Howler? Beautiful. Mark, you can have Finch. Beautiful. And then lastly, maybe uh, Hobo, you can have... Yeah, we can actually make a, a trophy for more resolve, and Hobo could probably use that. All right, well, no mans here, unfortunately, this little town, but... Let's take a quick jaunt to the north. I'm, I'm tempted to go fight that barbarian camp, but the re it's a 3,000 gold reward, which is by far the hardest thing we've ever done. And we've only got seven guys in the party. So I should probably forgo it. Although it does sound mighty tempting, doesn't it? We really need a whip. If I could get a whip, I'll come back and do that. Let's go to Hammer Den really quick. Hammerstead and maybe Gemin better look for a whip. If I could get a whip, I, I I'll go fight the barbarian camp. Okay, ambush caravans. An armorer with literally nothing. Uh, some expensive salt and tools. They have a noble quest. Barbarians to the west in the white goat mounds. Under a so-called king. 3180, huh? So I guess we've got two of those if we want to try to do them. Barbarians have been pillaging villages! Woo! I would love to do it. Drive off the barbarians at the makeshift camp. We haven't fought barbarians all game. However, we're going to do this in the next episode. I'll, I'll keep the quest, but since it's over here anyway, let's go to Hammerstead really quick. Actually, no. Let's go to Gemenberg first. Oh, hello. Some reavers, some thralls. Sorry, guys. This is my experience. Oh! It's not really worth it because these guys are here. They're going to steal it. I'll just let them have it. Sorry, guys. It's like I, like I tripped them in the road or something. <laughs> Poor barbarians. And they have ambush trade routes here too, with a whole bunch of quests. I just want to check the mans in the morning, that's all. All right. Mans, please have a hunter, guys. Please. Nope, no hunter. I don't think... I think that we've seen maybe one hunter this entire campaign anywhere in the entire world. 
which is extremely unfortunate. Uh, these guys do, however, have furs. They have copper we could buy. They've got a whole slew of quests. They've got a training hall. All right, just because I can't help myself and I really want to see if they have a whip, we're going to go to Gemmenberg and look for a whip. Then we'll come back and do that quest and go turn it in. Oh, hello. A few guys and some armored white weeder gangers. I can't I can't call them weeder gangers, friends. I'm just gonna keep calling them wider gangers. Every time I say it, I want to be like a four-year-old, like weeder gangers. Come on, Gibbonberg. The home of the famed whip. Ooh. Heraldic shoulder plates. They actually have two of these which is a fantastic investment I've been looking for those all game and no frigging whip ah but famed throwing axes Sir Burkhard Slayers has an additional 13% chance to hit wait a minute what? Are you kidding me? Is that a joke? So, their difference versus regular throwing axes is that they have 10% more effective against armor, which is literally like the number one reason I want throwing axes, and they have 13% additional chance to hit. That is some crazy high additional chance to hit. Uh, I, I do not believe that I can allow these to not be purchased immediately. So we're going to sell off the cleaver. We don't need two long swords. We don't need a lot of this stuff. Yoink, Sir, Sir Burkhard Slayers. Hey, uh... Hey, Markar. How you doing, buddy? I hope you don't die. By the way, here are some better things. Nice, the 13 plus the 66 plus. Uh, you know what? Throwing mastery. Yoink! There we go. That's actually not too bad. I think we'll drop the spear off of him and go for extra uh, these thingies and even more of those thingies since we have him. He's just going to be like a semi-dedicated thrower for now. We'll move him away from the end there so he doesn't get captured. Fantastic! Not bad. We got a famed weapon, famed armor, and I also picked up the ambition just two seconds ago for uh, famed all the stuff. Famed weapon. Oh, we need a shield, armor, and helmet. Wow, that's a lot for the ambitions. Anywho, this has been an unbelievable episode. We picked up a fantastic man, some fancy armors. We picked up some fancy throwing axes that are really... I cannot believe. 13% chance to hit. Uh, we got a whole bunch of loot to sell. If I had more... I want to come back here and buy those plus 40 armor platings as as, uh, as well. Imperial could definitely use those 100%. You know what? Let's see what things we could sell while we're here. Because this, this place has decent prices. The only thing we didn't manage to find was a hunter, unfortunately. Okay, I don't know if we could really buy a plating unless we sold a bunch of the spider silk, which honestly, I don't need it too much. It makes better nets. We'll sell the other long sword. We really don't need it. It's pretty good. I think we've got at least one axe on hand, so we can do something like this. A couple more spider silk, clear out our inventory. Fantastic. Now we can buy one of these platings. Uh, I want to go with, I think the yellow and McDonald's. Bright, they'll, they'll get super confused, friends. When the enemy sees our McDonald's colors, they'll be like, what are you wearing? We'll be like, full on McDonald's. I'm loving it. Anyways, that's it for the episode. When we return, we'll be fighting barbarians, doing some hammer starred quests. Maybe I'll be daft enough to go fight barbarian uh, camps in the far distant regions of the world for 3,000. Desperately, desperately, desperately need hunters and tanks and for, or javelineers. And for javelineers, all I'm gonna recruit is hunters. For tanks, it's either hedge knights or wild men. We'll just recruit a whole bunch, whatever cheap ones we can find until we find good tanks. Uh, and then I think, I think that's the whole squad basically right there. Two hunters, two mortar tanks. That brings us to nine out of 12. And if possible, another man like Mark here. Actually, no, that's not true. Another man like Gage, who's supposed to be a dedicated whipper. <laughs> if we can ever find a whip. <laughs> like, ever. But anyway, fantastic, fantastic episode. Thank you very much, Bryant, for the sponsorship. 
I hope Ozark the Based does not get lamb based. Ugh, I'm done. I'm done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. And pray all ye friends for some epic boys in the town. Ooh. Okay, everyone, calm down. Calm down. Everyone, calm, calm your hussies. Woo, there's my great sword man, Arnie the Hound.